Uh, we uh, we love our country. We want to we want to make it right again. Make America great again. You feel like Donald Trump would, would be the guy to do that? Yes. And what needs to be changed? Get Joe out of there. Joe and the hoe gotta go. Joe and the Joe and the hoe gotta go. I am flabbergasted. I am disturbed and also disgusted that in these United States, in 2024, someone can go on TV and claim that they support Donald Trump because of his ability to bring back decency to this country. We have local politics have gone astray. We have, uh, you know, pretty much corruption on every every level, even down to the family at this point with, with some of the stuff that people are seeing. On what TV. does that mean, corruption on every level down to the family? Uh, well, look at the stuff that the families are subjected to, even on TV and the media. You feel that, that kids are exposed to things they shouldn't be? Oh, certainly, yeah. yeah. At, at the beginning you were saying what, though? As far as? Joe and the... Oh, Joe and the hoe gotta go? Yeah. yeah. Is that does that feel totally appropriate? Um, not necessarily. They can make America great again by correcting the corruption that's happening on TV. All the way down to the family. I don't know what corruption he's talking about on TV that's happening all the way down to the family. But it is ironic that you can call the vice president a whore on TV and think it's funny and talk about the indecencies all the way down to the family, not considering kids will see this. There's a camera in his face. There's a microphone in his face. Someone is interviewing him and he felt comfortable enough to say that the vice president is a whore. This is racism. What's the one question you would ask the president? Why aren't you in a nursing home somewhere? They're making a mockery of you. They're making a mockery of you. Why isn't your wife protecting you from this? To see him stumbling and falling and losing his words and they're making a mockery. I feel, even though I, I think he's a hor horrendous puppet president, I feel bad for him because I think they're making a mockery of him, letting him stand out there. Not only that, we have countries around the world that think he's a complete joke. But you do believe he's the president and the commander in chief, no? No, I do not. I, so who is? I don't acknowledge him as the president. I believe deep state has taken over our country a long, long, long time ago. They've been infiltrating our school systems. I actually home educated four of my five children because I saw what they were doing 30, 40 years ago. Who is they is what? Big corporations that um, there's a, a core of group, a group of people that have been in charge behind the scenes for many, many, many years. If President Biden were to walk up to you now, what one question would you ask? What's his name? Because I don't think he'd remember it. What? It's elder abuse, what they're doing to him. It is elder abuse. Who's they? They would be the Obamas. Um, that would be the Clintons. That would be the deep state machine, Nancy Pelosi, Chuck Schumer. They are all using him as their puppet. He is no longer viable as a president. This is racism. Joe and the hoe has to go is what he said. The idea that he says she's earned a reputation, a reputation of what? Of what? That you can call that woman that? What do you know about her personal life that makes you comfortable enough to say that? Furthermore, why would you be comfortable to say that about any woman? But you call Joe by his name. You call the president by his given name, but the vice president gets a derogatory term. Don't think race is not associated or attached to this. Don't. Because the vice president is not running this country. The president is. So if your anger, if your anger and someone who has earned a reputation, who needs a nickname, it should be with the president, not the vice president. This is absolutely disgusting. And the idea, this is, this is Donald Trump's following. The idea that you are comfortable saying that about the vice president when you know nothing about her. You know nothing about this woman. And you have the audacity to tell a lie, that's indecent, about her earning a reputation. You wanna make America great again. How? How? Where white people are allowed to call black people hoes? Or maybe it's the other word you wanna say, the N word. Maybe you wanna own us. Maybe that's when America was great and decent. And you feel like the only way, the only way that we can fix America the stuff that's going on TV. Like the president controls TV companies. Like the White House makes movies. Only when Donald Trump was president 
did the White House make movies? Because he's an idiot who was looking for TV shows and ratings. And that's it. Nothing in this country was better on a Donald Trump. The tax cut went to the ultra rich and judging by what I just seen, that didn't include him. This is absolutely disgusting. No one should be okay with this. This is not politics. This is childish racism, sexism, misogynoir, all of that. And it's so often played out by Donald Trump and his followers. The man said local politics have gone astray. I'm a mayor of a town in, in, in North Carolina, Enfield, North Carolina. I promise you my politics have not gone astray. I am as progressive today as I was four, five, six, and 20 years ago. I still feel that we need a universal basic income. I'm still fighting for that. I still believe America owes every resident a home to live in. I'm still fighting for that. I still believe every American deserves health care. I'm still fighting for it. The only politics that have gone astray are Donald Trump and his minions who are comfortable saying decency doesn't exist in America anymore, yet and still you'll call the vice president out her damn name. Y'all are the problem with American politics and it should end there. I'm Mundell Robinson. This is getting outrageous.